The Tucson Business Owners is an advocacy group for local businesses here in Tucson, trying to make our city a better place. That we believe in the Tucson Business Owners that one of our most important partnerships is with the University of Arizona to try to figure out ways to get people excited about Tucson, ways to stay in Tucson and set up your roots, create your own small businesses in Tucson. And so I love to, for the opportunities to speak at the university right, to help convince the kids to stay here and do great things in the 520 because Tucson's a great place to be and it's an even greater place because all of you are here tonight. A point of personal privilege, um, over the last, uh, well, I've been a fan for over six decades and uh, over the last 90 days, this guy has done more for the community of Tucson than I will say we've had done in a, a long while. He was with us Thursday night at the Hall of Fame reception, did a great job. He was with us Saturday at the uh, National Football Foundation golf tournament, and he's here tonight. Uh, great guy, great family, great addition to Tucson. Please welcome Coach Jed Fish. We've started a fifth quarter program, which is life after football. The coaches that are in the back can tell you there's very few that will actually be playing after they graduate, like about 1%. So what are we going to do with the other 99% and how can we help them? And it really starts with the people here, the people within the community, the business owners that can provide internships and opportunities, apprenticeships, things that they could do post football or even during their time here, which would be an enormous opportunity for our players uh, and for really the entire community. Get them here, get them graduated, and then keep them here in the 520, as Grant said. We've made a very big effort with our players to try to emphasize how important community service is. Uh, all of our players, all 107 of them in the spring, went over to Umberto L Lopez's Center of Opportunity the weekend of Easter and uh, spent five hours over there. Uh, we're constantly trying to interact and give back to the community. We think that's critical, and in turn, we hope that the community embraces our entire football team for what we stand for. And hopefully our players will now be able to soon interact with all of you and be able to benefit like uh, we are tonight. So thank you very much for your time and enjoy your dinner. I think it's super important to just support the entire Tucson community, and obviously the Tucson businesses make the community go. So it's a great opportunity to be able to meet and greet and get the around this community here and the Tucson businesses specifically. Well, we have a fifth quarter program, which is the life after football. And our goal is to really be able to help our players find the right internships, the right jobs, apprenticeships and opportunities. And what better than being able to stay in Tucson and work for the Tucson business opportunities here. We've been able to reach uh, all different parts of football, pro football, college football, and then University of Arizona football. And University of Arizona football's past. And with that came the opportunity to hire Ricky Hundley, hire Chuck Cecil, bring Teddy Bruschi on board, bring Brandon Sanders on board, bring Cedric Steptoe on board. And we feel like we've got five great ones that are part of our program. And it's a huge honor for us to have had all of you join us this evening. It's a lovely evening here in Tucson. We've got a great night lined up for you. I've got uh, Drew Cooper, the artist, starting at 7 o'clock out here outside with some live music. Uh, looks like happy hour is just about ending right now. I just wanted to say thank you uh, to all of us from Union Hospitality Group and for our sponsor uh, for the Tucson business owners. That would, again, be HSL Properties. Thank you all. Uh, look forward to serving you this evening. And thank you again, Coach.